Hey guys, welcome back to Elan App. For today's video, we're going to show you or discuss with you Twilio SMS tutorial for beginners. So if you're interested, let's get started. In this case, you might be wondering how do you start using Twilio here for SMS. Now, since there are going to be a lot of things that you do here in Twilio, we'll be discussing the basics first. So first thing they want to do here is you want to access your Twilio account, which in this case, you want to go to the official website for Twilio and log in. Now, either, either way, you could go to console.twilio.com, log into your account, and access your studio dashboard. Now, in this case, uh, what, do you need, what do we need to do here? Well, the thing with Twilio, again, like what I just uh, said before, there are going to be a lot of functionalities that Twilio currently have. So, yeah. So, in here, what we need to do next is we need to access the following options, which in this case, at the left panel, again, you should be able to see a lot of things here. But where we're looking for right now is going to be the messaging option since we want to access SMS. Now, in here, we want to go to try it out. And from here, we have two options. So we have SMS or send an SMS and send a WhatsApp message. Now, depending on what you want to achieve here, like for example, if you just want to reach out to someone or to your customers or uh, advertise via the uh, following options, so either SMS or WhatsApp, you need to choose the appropriate one. So as an example, it's going to send an SMS. Now from here, it should start loading up our details. So it should load up our, um, in this case, our account. Now, in this case, you could go ahead and basically claim your trial phone number here. Now, by the way, in order for you to uh, try or start using Twilio here, you need to buy a phone number, which later on, I'll be showing you how to exactly do that. But if you want to try uh, get your trial phone number first, you can go and click on get trial phone number here. And it should start generating your phone number. But when it's actually generated, you can go ahead and basically access your phone number. Now from here, you could go ahead and change a few things here. Like for example, if you want to send to a virtual phone here, or you could go ahead and click on send to personal number. Now from here, what we need to do is we need to uh, s select our phone number. So as an example, I'm just going to choose send virtual phone number here to make it a lot easier for us. And in here, what we need to do is we need to choose our sender type, either phone number or a messaging service. So in this case, we're going to choose a sender type here, either one of the following. We have our phone number here that we want to choose. So as an example, I'm going to choose this mobile number as the uh, phone number. So by the way, we have the two, the sender type and the phone number. And we also have the message section. Now in this case, you could go ahead and type in your message. Like for example, I'm just going to say hello. And you could go ahead and also like, uh, see the uh, uh, view, preview here at the right side, by the way. So this is the API Explorer here and also the virtual phone if you want to see the actual look of your uh, message. I also have the messaging logs here if you want to view them just in case. And yeah, so in this case, if you want to go ahead and proceed, this one, just click on send an SMS. And when we actually go to our API Explorer here, we have our requests and response. Now, in this case, if you uh, if you're like for example, if you're a developer and you really want to monitor what is currently or happening right now on your request and response here, this is, as, this is exactly how you see it. Now, by the way, when you go to your virtual phone here, as you can see, our message has been sent, with and in this case, to the following phone numbers. Which is the case, this is some, something pretty cool. But then again, how do you get your phone number here that you could use to basically send messages? Now. In this case, you want to go to phone numbers at the top left here. You want to go to manage. And from here, what we need to do is we need to go, go to buy a number. Now, in here, what we need to do is we need to start searching for numbers that we want to use. So in this case, maybe you want to filter further here. Like, for example, which country you are targeting right now and what are the capabilities. Like, for example, we have voice, SMS, MMS, and fax. We also have the search criteria here, here, like for the numbers. So match with the uh, part, first part of the number if you want to further customize that. In this case, there are going to be different numbers that you get here. Like for example, if you like this one, you could go ahead and click on buy. Now, you should also be able to see the capabilities of that specific number. Let's go and click on buy here. And from here, it should give you further details. So in this case, by the way, depending on the mobile number here, there are going to be some requirements. Like for this one, SMS and MMS requires you to uh, do a uh, A2P10 DLC registration, which is something required here in order for you to start using those specific uh uh, features now in this case if you want to proceed just click on buy at the very bottom right here and you should be able to buy that phone number now if you want to see your active numbers you can go to active numbers here and see your numbers if you've released some numbers like for example you've already removed that from your account and it's no longer active this is where you'll be able to see them in the release numbers section 
Now, if you want to manage your like, port and host, like for example, your port and requests, your port in number section, especially this is helpful if you're a developer here. In this case, uh, you'll be able to uh, manage your port requesting here. So by the way, you can go ahead and click on port in number if you want. And yeah, so when we go to messaging here, just to give you further details, uh, when we go to our senders here, you have the short codes and the WhatsApp sender, which in this case allows you to submit a WhatsApp sender. Now, in this case, if you want to configure what your uh, sender is going to be, this is where you'll be able to configure them. Now, if you want to go and start using or start sending or ready, if you're ready to go live, you can go and go to services here, by the way, and basically click on create messaging services. Now, in this case, it's going to ask you some information here. Like, for example, you need to name your messaging service here, maybe your business name. So what, in this case, you also need to answer is like what you uh, want to use, your, to use your messaging for. Also, you also have the option to add your senders, which in this case, the phone numbers, the mobile numbers that we bought before. And also, you just need to basically fill out all the information that they require here. Now, also, there are going to be some compliance info here that you need to read and you need to follow in order for you to set up your messaging service now by the way like what i said what we uh, saw before like with the active numbers or the numbers that you'll be going to buy there are going to be some requirements so if you want to view the a2p uh, tdlc uh requirement here you could go to the regulatory regulatory compliance section here and read further about what you need to do and what can you do to start or in this case uh in order for you to start using S uh, sms and mms but yeah so in this case, those are the basics here to get you started in using uh, Twilio, and that's about it. So hopefully this video was able to help you like and subscribe to your lineup. Thank you for watching.